five ways to Friday, one item styled five different ways. Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. Age is just a number and my name is Barbara Jean. This is a channel for women over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty. And today it is all about fashion. This is number, I think number 28 in my series of five ways to Friday, where I take one item and I style it five different ways from my closet. So bringing my closet inspiration to you. So what are we going to talk about today? Yes, <laughs> we're going to talk about denim shorts. And if you know me and you are a returning subscriber, thank you. But you know that I don't do frumpy and I like to stay modern. Um, I work very hard at it. <laughs> so and I'm hoping I can keep you modern and relevant as well, too. So I grew up. Well, let's back up. I was a teenager in the 70s and we lived in cutoffs you know for you know in the summertime uh weren't allowed to wear them to school but we were but we did live them in the in the summer and i still i probably have a collection of uh denim shorts all different types of degrees of distressing links whatever i don't like the bermuda shorts um you know bermuda linked they just don't do anything for me well actually i haven't seen anybody that they've done anything for to be honest uh, but i am going to show you these real, real quick these are one of my favorite pair that i'm wearing right now and these are actually by kinsey and these are a mid-rise and they are cuffed there's not really a lot of distressing on them there is some like on the back of the pockets and there is the what they have done they have their raw hem so they took them and they stitched them up here which that's something that you could do so if you had a pair of jeans and you wanted to turn them into your favorite pair of cutoffs go for it <laughs> you know i like to make sure that the pockets don't have too much going on um some you're seeing a lot right now because it was really a big trend last year was the buttons, the um, the high rise with the row of buttons here. Now, the thing about that is when you have too much detail, it's going to draw attention to that area. So like right now, I'm very swollen because of some uh, health issues going on so I don't want to accentuate that too much so I'm an, I'm trying to stick just with a planer um, not a button fly just a plain fly on here so now one thing too I'd like to point out to where and I've told you I've mentioned this before if you buy your your shorts if they're a little bit bigger than your legs uh, where they flare out just a little bit and see that they're not skin tight on your legs. Therefore, your legs are going to look slimmer. Remember that. So what are we going to do? Well, okay. Usually I will take an item and I try and take it from one extreme to the other. Well, with cutoffs or with denim jeans, I can't really take it up too much to a notch. I can add a little bit to it, but... I really had trouble stopping uh, at the five because I just could have kept going because I utilized them so much. And I'm actually wearing, and you probably can't see right now, but I'm actually, you can't, I'm actually wearing a pair of my A Goldie uh, cutoffs that I wear a lot as well too. So, but we are going to, I'm going to show you some ideas um, of how to style them even as a mature woman and so we're going to go over here actually I'm going to bring the rack over here with my items and we'll go through them and show you and then we'll do a lookbook so hang tight I'm going to grab my rack 
I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I've got my rack here. <laughs> All right, let's start with the first item that I had to do in here. And of course, I had to start off with a graphic tee journey. Journey, who doesn't love journey? I know, if you love journey, tell me down below. Tell me what your favorite song of journey is. <laughs> love them all <laughs> so you know there's nothing more classic than a band tee and a pair of cutoffs you know and what i paired that with i started to pull out my sam edelman um white leather sneakers which are such a classic and i'll still link them down below but for this i thought well you know what i've got another classic i wanted to pair with it and that is my classic adidas sneakers um, and then I also put on a, just a white belt. Now this one happens to be Michael Kors, but it's, you know, just a thin white belt, um, not too thick, um, for this outfit. And what I, um, oh, I'll get to the rest of those here in a minute. <sighs> Another one that you saw before in my, uh, this was on my thrifted look for less, this beautiful olive and ivory satin top looks great with cutoffs. I got so many compliments on it, so I thought I'd have to include it in here as another, um, uh, another outfit in here. So I just absolutely loved that shirt with it. All right, here is a top that I haven't had too long. This is by Lucky Brand. And it is a cotton. I mean, it is that thin cotton that is perfect for the heat. I mean, you know, here in Texas, when we get to that June mark, oh my goodness, the heat, it just, the heat is turned on. So we look for cool, um, comfortable things to wear. And something like this is absolutely, but because it's got such a feminine edge to it, uh, it really, it does take it up a little bit, but it looks great with the contrast with the cutoffs or the denim shorts. So, so that's three. This one is a look that we took, like you had to go, you wanted to go to lunch or something. I took this Target tank top and oh my God, these things are workhorses. If you don't have any of these little V-neck tanks from Target, you need to get some. And then I have just a, uh, navy check some of it's almost like houndstooth check but where i roll the sleeves up it's a blazer that comes right to the uh, the sweet spot on me for showing just a little bit of the cutoffs and a little bit of a heeled sandal and this takes it up just a knot so if you're going to go out to lunch meet your girlfriends or for even date night in the summer when it's hot you know, you're going into a restaurant, it's going to be a little chilly in there. Having a jacket on there is perfect. So, what else have we got? One of the things that we always did too, and I still do it, instead of adding a cover-up on top of a swimsuit, we've always just thrown our denim shorts on, on top of it. So, I have pulled out one of my favorite swimwear pieces, and this is actually by... Um, Kona Sol, yeah, Kona Sol, which is a brand that they sell, or they did when I bought this at Target. And um, so I'm going to show you with that. And so the, the items that I pulled here, I already showed you the sneakers, but in the belt. But one of the pairs of shoes, this is one that I had recently purchased. I'll have a link to, I'm going to have links down below to everything that I can find or something that's very similar for these in case you want to go shopping for that look. And do you remember these from the Amazon haul that I did recently? Um, these little gold sandals. I had been wearing the snot out of these. Mm -hmm. um, of course, my little favorite little beach bag. Favorite beach bag and I think I like this so much because it's so sturdy and it does have I keep the I keep the stuffing in here when it's not being used but it does have the zipper top up here and it's just the classic 
beach tote for the, or for the swim pool or just going to the pool if you wanted to do that. I brought out this time two pair of my designer sunglasses from my little collection. This one is my white ones and these are by Gucci. And then these are the round ones. I thought that, you know, they just give me that 70s vibe as well too. And these are by Versace. So let's see. Oh, I brought out just a classic back hand black handbag crossbody this is by rebecca minkoff and you know how, how green kelly green is really having a moment now this season and i expect it to go through the summer as well too so this is one a kelly green bag that i have had for several years so it has not gone out of style i mean the color of it i'm seeing more uh handbag makers uh bringing this color out right now as well and then one other little purse I haven't brought out to you in a while, but it's a darling little uh, cork um, little satchel handbag. Now it does have a, this one does actually have a chain in it so that I could use it as a crossbody or a, um, uh, or just over the shoulder, but I really like carrying it by the top handle. I think that just, you know, when you're carrying something like this, it's just, I don't know, it just adds that little sweetness to it. So, yeah. So, all right. So these are all the items that I'm going to pair with these shorts. So let's dive into the lookbook and see what we got. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little lookbook and I would love to hear your feedback. And wait a second here before you go. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm getting so close to that 3000 mark. So leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and as well, introduce yourself. I would love that if you are new here to me. So I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who comes and spends a few minutes of your time with me. It meets everything in the world to me. It's uh, these five ways to Fridays have uh, y'all have just embraced them and everybody looks forward to it. I look forward to it and 
I have to tone myself down because I get so excited. <laughs> So, all right, ladies, I'm going to get out of here right now. So I know you got things to do and I got things to do. So I will see you in my next video. But remember, ladies, remember what I tell you every single day. Don't be frumpy, but get up and show up because you're worth it. So until I see you in my next video, have a very safe and a very blessed day. Bye.